let's say you, you signed Brett Gardner to a one-year nine million dollar deal okay so yeah. if you if Clint Frazier is your everyday left fielder then what amounts to a three-man bench you have a guy that could simply play the outfield center and left and, and Brett Gardner that doesn't make sense if Clint Frazier wants to make this team, he's gonna have a great. He has to have a great spring training and force himself into some sort of a platoon, which they don't want to do either. Because again, you're limiting yourself to players that can only play the outfield. The guy, I think, if they had their druthers, that they want to be the 25th man on the team is Tyler Wade, because Tyler Wade could play all the infield positions except for first, and he should go, he could go there in an emergency, and he could do a serviceable job in the outfield, and he runs the bases extraordinarily well. But up to this point, Tyler Wade has been a quadruple A hitter. He hits in spring training. He hits at triple A. When he comes up the big league, he doesn't do it. It's all about roster construction. You've got to have guys that that could be moved around. That's why DJ LeMayu is a perfect guy for a bench because he could play anywhere on any given day. So could Tyler Wade. Clint Frazier or Brett Gardner cannot. That's why one of them makes the roster in all likelihood. The only way, the only other way that Clint Frazier makes the roster is if, in fact. Tyler Wade is awful in spring training, and they have no other options. That's that. That's the way. But that if Tyler Wade shows again in spring training, what he usually shows, they're going to give him a chance on the 25-man roster.